In your vote tonight, as Oregonians begin receiving and filling out their ballots, we're watching the race for Portland's mayor really closely. It's shaping up to be a tight one based on the results of a recent poll. Fox 12's Camilla Ortiz is live tonight with more on that and how each candidate is hoping to wrangle in undecided voters. Camilla. And there's quite a few undecided voters, according to this poll conducted for OPB by DHM Research. With only a couple weeks and some change left till Election Day, 27% of the 400 people polled say they still aren't sure who they're going to vote for for mayor. It's clear that things have been um, narrowing, that the race is becoming more competitive. Portland mayoral candidates Ted Wheeler and Sarah Ayanarone held a virtual forum today where they answered questions about issues like economic recovery from the pandemic and the nightly protests in the city. The way we're going to stop the violence is by arresting people and holding them accountable for criminal activity. The mayor is talking about the fact that we need to end the nightly violence and they don't believe that we're going to see an end to that on his watch. Fox 12 political analyst John Horvick says Ayanna Roan leans further left than Wheeler and the local unrest around racial injustice and police brutality creates grounds for a challenger to do well. There's a, a deep dissatisfaction with the direction of the community. In a poll conducted earlier this month by DHM Research for OPB, Wheeler and Ayanna Roan were neck and neck, 33 to 34 percent. 6% said they're writing in Teresa Rayford, who founded Don't Shoot Portland, and the rest, about 27%, said they still don't know. Horvick thinks that's largely because voters are paying more attention to the presidential race than any local ones. It's really difficult to break through uh, locally now when there's so much happening at the national level. According to the poll, homelessness is still the biggest issue Portlanders want to see tackled, and both candidates agree there's still a lot of work to be done there. Reporting live in North Portland, Camilla Ortiz, Fox 12 Oregon.